What's going on, Four Victims and Villains? My name is Josh, and today we are talking about the Blu-ray release of Exuma. Exuma tells the story of a group of excavators that get hired to take care, excavate a ominous grave, and in the process of doing so, unleash a deadly threat upon our world. When it comes to slow burns in film, I have a love-hate relationship with them. Like, the journey has to invest me. It has to be enticing or intriguing from a narrative perspective. It is a film that is dealing with mythology. It has to sucker me in. The character development has to be here. Exuma is probably one of the best examples I've ever seen of an effective slow burn. At its core, this is telling the story of four people and kind of not only their chemistry among one another, but also at the same time kind of their relationships outside of the excavator group. And I just kind of found each and every single one of their characters to be not only fascinating, but I just love the inner working dynamic between the characters. Plus with a slow burn, it's more, always more effective the smaller you can keep that cast of characters. And again, I go back to this being one of the best examples in recent memory of an effective slow burn. I really loved the folklore here and the exploration thereof. It's not just presenting you something that feels foreign to us here in America, but it also takes the time to kind of effectively explain and also at the same time really and build up, uses it to build up the horror as well. While we're on the topic of folklore, I really loved the kind of the final form or the character designs of the monsters or the entities, whatever you wish to call them in this movie. I thought not only did they feel in tone with the universe of the story, but the way that they are lit and the shadows and the use of the camera angle surrounding them is was just a thing of genius. Part of the reason that I love seeing how other cultures take uh, something like a supernatural horror story and kind of put their own cultural spin on it is because I feel like here in the States, oftentimes when we have supernatural films or films that are trying to be the next exorcist, what we end up finding is there's a lack of emotion or a lack of connection between the audience and its characters. And that honestly has to be one of the best things that Exuma does is that it makes you actually care for the characters and you really fall in love with it. And again, it all happens during those slow, slow burn moments. The storytelling here really allows you as an audience member to really fall in love with these characters before ultimately kind of facing off against the bigger evil in the back half of the movie. And honestly, maybe I'm the only one that views this way, but oftentimes for me personally, anytime that there is a super natural element to it, whether it's religious horror or not, if I'm not emotionally invested into these characters, then by the time the horror actually starts, I find that I care less about it and it just feels really generic to me. And I'm really glad that that's not a pitfall that Exuma finds itself in. I really thought the acting across the board in this is nothing short of magnificent. Every performance is just a beautiful, spectacular knock out of the park. I talked about this earlier in the character dynamics, but each character just plays themselves really well. And this really does also have a really charming ending, which is a really rare thing to say for a horror film of this caliber. And again, I think that the charming ending not only is compliments to the storytelling and direction but also the acting as well i will say for the most part the pacing in the beginning does feel like it is dragging knuckles on pavement but if you stick with it it is well worth your investment of time and with that said i am ready to run this one through the rorschach rating scale 
I'm going to go ahead and give Exuma a 4 out of 5. I think overall this is one of the smartest supernatural horror films we've gotten in recent memory. The character development in this movie is absolutely unreal. It really makes you fall in love with these characters before it ultimately pulls you at your emotional core making you hold your breath and drawing you to the edge of your seat for its gripping finale. Exuma is now available on DVD, Blu-ray, and digital, or you guys can also check it out right now, streaming exclusively on Shudder. If you guys are interested in checking out this movie, I'll provide links in the show notes below where you guys can find links on where to watch it, also where to buy it. Now this is typically the part of the video where we will talk about mental health and specifically what this movie talks teaches us about mental health. I feel like I need to sit with this movie or probably even watch it again to really dissect and del delve into what this film teaches us about mental health. But if you or someone you know is struggling with suicide, addiction, self-harm, or depression, please click the links in the show notes below. While this is while we love talking about film, this is the heartbeat of what we do here at Victims and Villains is to remind you that A, you are not alone, B, help is readily available for you, and that C, tomorrow is always worth reaching for. Suicide right now is currently the 11th leading cause of death in the United States. There are over 49,000 suicides that take place right here on American soils, and that comes down to roughly about one death every 11 minutes and worldwide we see suicide <laughs> occur every 40 seconds. So please, if you or someone you know is struggling, please consider our mental health resource library below. Exuma is now available to own or rent on Blu-ray, DVD, or a digital, or you can just stream it right now on Shutter, Shutter.com or wherever you guys get your Shutter app from. That is going to do it for us, but hit that subscribe button. And until next time, remember to stay classy and keep it scary.